Hi, it's Emma Nagel. So I got requested by a subscriber to do like a makeup brush video and I thought that was a brilliant idea so that's what we are going to do today. So I'm going to share all my favorite um, brushes with you guys and show you what brushes I think you know you need to have. But before we get started I just want to say that I did film a makeup tutorial for this look and I think it will be up later on this week. But anyways, let's get into them brushes, girl. Okay, so we're going to start with face brushes. And you guys know I always use a sponge to apply my foundation. Um, that's my own personal preference because um, I like the way the sponge applies my foundation. I like the way it keeps the full coverage and I also like the finish. I oftentimes think that the um, brushes just blends away way too much of your makeup. And I also feel like they can sometimes leave your face very streaky. So that's why I prefer a sponge. I do have this stippling brush from e.l.f. And it is nice. But I do not think it's like a must have. Um, I think sponges are definitely better. And also another reason why I like sponges is because they're not so harsh on the skin. Um, I have a lot of, you know, I have my acne. And um, if I do like this with a brush, it can sometimes irritate my acne. So that's why I think it's easier when you can just kind of dab like this with your sponge. It doesn't irritate my skin as much. And of course, the same with my concealer. I just prefer my sponges. So let's move on to powder brushes. I love a big um, powder brush like this one from Nien Fjord. And I like this one because it's insanely dense, so it packs on a nice amount of powder. And because it's so big, it gets like a very big area of my face. So this is my favorite powder brush because it's big, so it's quick, but it's also dense. So it makes sure that I really get that powder on there and it really sets my foundation. I also have the e.l.f. Studio powder brush, which is also good, but as you can see, it's way smaller, so that's why I prefer this one from Nien Short. Just because this one is too small, it takes a little too long for me to use this brush. So I normally reach for this one. Then for underneath my eyes, I can't use this big brush. So underneath my eyes, I like to use my um, Born Pretty Store powder brush. I got this from my 12 piece pink brush set. And I think this has a really good size to get underneath the eye. So back in the day I used to use this e.l.f. Um, Essentials Blending Eye Brush because it can really get underneath the eye but I find that this just applies too much powder. It gets too powdery because it's so small so I can really apply a lot of powder. So that's why I prefer a bigger brush because it can get underneath the eye but it doesn't apply you know a shit ton of powder. So that's basically all I use for my powder. Then for my contour, I of course love my e.l.f. angled blush brush. So this brush is small enough to get right here in the hollow of the cheek, but it's also big enough to get around the forehead and underneath the jaw. And it's also good for like blending out in small circles, so that's why I like this one. And again, this one is a little more dense than say my, um, my blush brush as you guys can probably see and that just gives you know a more intense contour which I like I think this would be a little too flimsy to use for a contour so I know some people just use this contour brush for their nose so they just use one contour brush for all the contour but I like to be a little more precise on my nose so I love my fan brush from e.l.f. Because it just fits perfectly right here and just gives me my perfect lines. It's so quick and easy. I really love it. And here you could just use something like a blending eye brush. But I just find this one to be quicker. So that's why I prefer my fan brush. Okay, so next up we have the blush brush. <laughs> that's hard to say. And I just like my e.l.f. Studio blush brush. I think it's a nice size. It fits perfect right here on the apple. And it also blends out, you know, the blush very nicely. And with my blush, I don't want it to be too intense. So I like that this brush is a little more um, less dense. So next up, we have highlighting brushes. 
And the first one I have is this fan brush from my Boy and Pretty Store brush set. So this fan brush is very skinny and as you guys can probably see it's not um, straight like my e.l.f. brush and it's a lot smaller. So that's why I don't use this for my nose because it applies very harsh lines whereas uh, this one is a little better at blending at the same time as applying color. But this fan brush is great if you want a more subtle highlight because you can do a very subtle highlight like this. Just hit up you know, the top of your cheeks, your nose, your lips, your chin. So this brush is perfect for getting a little bit of highlight right on the tops of your cheekbones and of course the rest of your face also because it is very, you know, fine and skinny. But if I want a more intense highlight, I like to use my e.l.f. Essentials Bronzing Brush because it is thicker. But again, it's not too dense. It's pretty, you know, loosely packed with the hairs. So it doesn't give, you know, an extreme highlight, but it does give a more intense highlight than my um, fan brush. Okay, so I think that's basically the face brushes. So let's move on to the eye brushes. So of course a brush I cannot live without is my brow comb. You can get these in so many places. Um, this one is just again from my Born Pretty Store brush set. And I really love the brow comb end to brush through my eyebrows. And then you can use the little comb on the other side to brush through your eyelashes. Which I don't do that often, but you can do that, for example, if you have a clumpy, if your mascara is clumpy, you can just brush it out. But I mainly use this part. So instead of this, you could also go for a spoolie. You guys know I love my spoolie. And this one gets in the eyebrow hairs really good. I think I prefer my spoolie over my brow comb, but it really doesn't matter that much. And by the way, if you do not have a spoolie, and if you don't want to go out and spend money on it, you can always just take a mascara brush from an old mascara and just clean it and then you have a spoolie. It is really that simple. So yeah, I don't think you need both of these. But I would say that this spoolie is a little better at getting into the hairs on your eyebrows. But this one has the added benefit that uh, you also get a comb for your lashes. So I almost forgot, but of course you also need an angled brush to apply your brow powder or your brow pomade. So this one is from Eco Tools, and I prefer the angled brushes because they can really, you know, define your eyebrows. So you just want anything that's angled and, you know, small like this and skinny. And again, here you want to do precise lines. So you do not want like a flimsy brush, you want one that's very dense. Okay, so now we're going to do the eyeshadow brushes. So I think one of the most important brushes that you can own is a flat eyeshadow brush. This one is from Brian Pretty Store. Again, this is from my 12 piece brush set. And this is nice and small, so it fits, you know, right here on the eyelid. But I also think it's great to have a bigger flat eyeshadow brush so this is great for doing like a more all over kind of lit shade and um, I think the variety between having a small and a big flat eyeshadow brush is great but I would say that if you have to choose between the two then go for the smaller brush because you can get this you can use this both as an all over lit shade and um, for more fine detailing work Whereas it's harder to be precise with the bigger brush. So other than the flat eyeshadow brushes, you of course need your blending brush. This is my MAC 224 brush. And I know that MAC brushes are expensive, but they are really freaking good. So this is just a nice blending brush. And you can basically use this in the crease, in the outer corner to blend out a transition color. It's very versatile and I think you definitely need one of those tapered blending brushes like this one. Then I also think that a smaller crease brush is a great idea. So this again is um, the e.l.f. Essentials blending eye brush. So I have two of these, one that I used to use 
for my powder underneath my eyes and one for eyeshadow and I think they actually might have discontinued this brush which I don't understand because this is such a great freaking brush but I will see if I can find a link to somewhere where you can buy this and then I will link it down below together with all the other brushes because this is a phenomenal brush and the great thing about a smaller blending brush is that you can do more detailing work you can get in the outer corner you can get more precisely in the crease you know stuff like that so I think this one is great but again if you have to cho um, choose between the small blending brush and the large blending brush I would say go with the larger one because it can do more things you can use just the tip to be precise and then you can use more of the whole brush to blend out but I definitely think that this one this brush is important as well so the next eyeshadow brush is a small stiff eyeshadow brush this is elf um, small precision brush as you can see it's small and stiff and very dense and this is perfect for smoking out your eyeliner for doing your bottom lashes for doing the outer corner the inner corner you know little detail work like that and I definitely think this is a must-have as well so my last eyeshadow brush is the eyeliner brush so um, this one is again from Born Pretty Store and I really like this it's nice and precise and you can use this you know for gel eyeliner or if you want to use your pencil eyeliner on your upper eyelid or you know anything like that if you want to perfect your liquid eyeliner you can use this as well and of course you could use an angle brush instead of this type of eyeliner brush but I prefer this type when it comes to lining my eyes okay so I just thought I would throw in a bonus kind of eyeshadow brush and that is um, an eyeshadow C brush this one is from elf and this brush is great because it's kind of dense but it's also kind of fluffy so I hope you guys can see it right here and this brush is great because you can use it as an all over lid color because it's dense enough to do that but you can also use it for your brow bone and your inner corner because it is still a bit fluffy and you can even use it a little bit in your crease and outer corner because of this shape it's also great underneath the eyes so I think this is a great you know all around brush so that's the eye brushes now let's move on to lips so for lips I think there's only really one brush that you need which is of course a lip brush so this one is from BH Cosmetics and it's one of those that you can do like this with and I know not, not everybody uses lip brushes but the reason why these lip brushes are great is because you can get a lipstick that's in a pot you can get that out with your lip brush and you can be very precise with your lip brush and also a lip brush is great because um, it can get up all the lipstick that's left in the tube after you have worn the lipstick all down so in that way you won't be um, what's it called you won't be wasting any product and I really like this one from BH Cosmetics because it's not too skinny I think kind of depending on how big your lips are you might go for a more skinny or a more thick lip brush and that's basically all for this video so those are my favorite brushes that I think um, really makes a difference in my makeup application and I'm not going to lie I don't think that brushes are very you know exciting um, what I like about makeup is definitely you know the makeup items the foundations the eyeshadows the mascaras the blushes the lipstick all that I have never thought that brushes were very ex exciting but they are necessary if you want a good makeup look so I hope you guys liked my little makeup brushes 101 and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video so take care and bye bye